Yo, people, yo, people. So I'm an Andrew Tate fan, generally. I support most of what he says. However, there are times when I disagree with him. And the webcam stuff is a prime example. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, even though he doesn't run the business anymore, is because he has never actively like said he, he wishes he didn't do it. He's just said that this is something he did, and he's never apologized for anything like this. He seems to stand by it. And so because of that, I can still hold him to account for this as one of the things that I do not like about his journey. So, I mean, I'm going to play you this this part of this interview here it's from 21 Studios. I'll leave the link in the description about what he says about the webcam industry and all of this stuff that I highly disagree with. But let's get let's get into it. Yeah. Dumb. I'm making myself rich by making them rich. And two, you're not exploiting men because these men are happy with the interaction. A lot of these men are married. Wow. They've got a wife at home who doesn't fuck them. Yeah. They've got kids who don't respect them. And they're literally the only time they smile at all is when they get their laptop out and talk to this yeah. hot 19-year-old on the other side of the world. Jesus. And it's sad, yeah. but it genuinely, it keeps them out of suicide. Yeah. Genuinely. I believe it. Yeah. Genuinely. Yeah. So, you know, this is just the whole relationship with the webcam market, and it's growing by the day. Got to bump them off from the webcam shit to the PhD course, man. Well, it's well the, cross promotion. The, the, absolutely. <laughs> and this is what the PhD course explains how I got the girls to work for me, and the cam course is the ins and outs of running a cam business. Yeah, yeah. But a, a cam business yeah. is, is, is a fantastic business because it ain't going anywhere. And yeah. There's online money, and it's 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Yeah. Uh, Christmas, New Year, the busiest times. So there's yeah. lonely dudes on Christmas yeah. on there just fucking sending money. No, I think you're responding. It's, it's a response to a problem. It's a response to a failing culture. Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it used, for to, for worse. it used to kind of be like strip clubs and that kind of thing, but they're kind of slowly going out of business and like everything else, like yeah. every other business, it's all going online. We tried going to strip club last night. Shit was close. Yep. Literally close. Yep. I was like, what the fuck? It's all online now. So you've yeah. got these girls who are online and I know like a lot of the red pill guys, all oh, these cam whores and stuff. Yeah. I've worked with over 75 girls and I can tell you genuinely, 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 they're not whores. The whores are out being a stripper or being a, a escort because it's easy. Yeah. Being a cam girl isn't actually that easy. It's still eight hours a day. Mm. You've got to be happy for eight hours a day. Pretend to be happy. Yeah, yeah. Smile, you're, you're, yeah smile. You yeah, can't yeah. be a miserable bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to be happy for eight hours a day. You've got to remember people's names. You've got to remember their dog, their cat, their problems, 20 different dudes. Yep. This, that. You need a smart girl with a good temperament who's a nice person to be a good cam girl. Yeah, these are more advanced cam girls because every girl now can get into like sugar babying, premium Snapchat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, really basic, that's, yeah, that's yeah, common. Yeah, that's common. Yeah, that's basic shit. Entry level shit. Yeah. yeah. But if you're going to be like a real high level cam girl, yeah, yeah. You, you need to be a hard worker and you need to be intelligent. Yeah, it's true. This, yeah. Yeah. this is true. And people say, oh, they're dumb. They just get their tits out for money. So if you just get your tits out, you're not going to get any money. So like, would you not do it if you were in that situation? Like, exactly. Maybe you would. You probably would. So my best cam girl can make $2,000 a day. Wow. It's seven days a week. Damn. It, like, and people are going to go, oh, she's a hoe. She's sitting at home in her bed making $2,000 a day. Yeah. Fuck. You could sit in your pajamas and make $2,000. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like. Here we see, here is the first part of, the, of this that I have an issue with, is the money aspect. Is that, oh yeah, she's doing all these things, but she's making loads of money. Like, this is not a good thing. Right? This isn't a good thing that you, you know, oh, but I, look, but you made loads of money. Okay, you're selling yourself online. You're selling what Tate has described as a con, by the way. I don't think he says it in this interview, but he has said before how he was chief in people's money. In, in this kind of, scam thing he's, he's he basically admitted it was a scam more or less previously before so you have these women right oh but they're making two thousand dollars a day but they're doing it through sex work and potential scamming because he said that it, like there were times when he was sat behind the keyboard and these guys thought they were talking to the woman when they weren't as a prime example so i mean Again, just because you made loads of money, that doesn't get to justify terrible behavior. And this is this is terrible behavior. This is a terrible business that he's running there. And he's saying, we're just taking advantage of betas. Well, that's the whole problem, isn't it, as well? You're taking advantage of people. And it's easy to sit there and say, oh, but you should know better. Well, it's your fault because you, you engaged in it. Well, I mean, it's also your fault for pumping it out there. Right? This is This is like the shit with drug dealers who, like, don't think they're doing anything wrong by selling drugs. Well, he, he, you know, what's it? It's his fault. He wants the drugs. He's the one asking for them. I'm just giving them to him. You're, you're a fuck. You're complicit, you fool. What do you mean? Like, it makes no sense. If somebody comes up to you and says, I'm going to commit a murder, and you say, okay, I'm, I'll supply you the weapon. I'll tell you the place and time. I'll tell you how to lure the victim to. A discreet location. 
I'll tell you how to dispose of the body. You can't then later turn around and say, I had nothing to do with me. But I had nothing to do with it. It's it's just a response to this guy who said he wanted to murder somebody. You know, when somebody comes up to you and says, I want to murder someone, you say, uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? In the same way, if somebody comes up to you and is like, is looking online desperate for cam girls to talk to, these people don't need cam girls to actually talk to. They don't need it. They may think they do, but they don't. And you steering them towards that for profit, I don't think is a good thing. Honestly. This, this for me, this webcam business side of Tate is, is an L for me. But there's more. Let's carry on. Like, so I think, it's, I think it's a reaction to, because all of the customers are from Western Europe and America. Yeah. There's no customers from Eastern Europe. There are yeah. no customers from the Middle East. I believe there it. No there's all just a bunch of... We're here in Poland. You're just surrounded by like hot, attractive women who are feminine, who yeah. are like who act like women. It's, it's crazy. I've and never you, seen anything like it. Absolutely. And, yeah. if you, and if you had a whole bunch of money here, you'd never be lonely. But America's got that weird culture where you can yeah. still be rich and still not get girls and just be a beta and just yeah. be a loser. Yeah. So these are the dudes, because it's not a cheap habit. It's not yeah. a cheap habit. These yeah. dudes are on there spending money. Yeah. So they're not broke. Tipping, all this bullshit. All that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the camming industry is, is a huge one. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. And uh, it's just a reaction to a whole bunch of betas desperate for just thirst. Yeah. It, the, the, this, it's all just thirst. You look at these girls with their 3 million followers on Instagram. Yeah. That's just thirst. Yeah. So all the girls who's monet doing is monetizing it. I, really, I, I understand it even better now, though, that there is a thirst in America and the West for, for all kinds of uh, femininity. It's like fucking gone. Yep. These women act like men, and then it's like, you have nothing left except maybe some physical stuff online. Thirst it's for a, femininity. It's a desert. That, that's it's a exactly. Desert. You just put it. You just fucking put it in. Thirst for femininity because yeah. I've had, I've had guys literally say to my girls, "You're the first girl who speaks nicely. Yeah. You're the only girl who I've seen talk like this. You're the yeah. only girl who does her nail. Like the yeah. basic shit. Yeah. They're just like, wow, she's a pedicure and oh, yeah. a pe manicure and Dude. she's and she's polite. Women in America are a wreck, man. Compared yeah. to what I'm seeing here, they yeah. they dress like shit. They act like men. It's they're they don't have men. This might be the only part where they're not taking an L here because he talks about the, the thirst for femininity. And that might, that, you know, there is, I can sit here and blame Tate for the fact that you're providing this. And you are. And I will blame him. But at the same time, there is a level of like, okay, perhaps women are not as feminine as they used to be, or at least are not as feminine as men would like them to be. And then when women nowadays are perceived to be a little bit more masculine. And so this is driving men to look for more feminine women. I don't think that that's necessarily unfair. I mean, it's kind of your fault if you're married to a masculine woman. You can't then later go hop on the webcam and start splashing money on some random girl in Romania. Like, you're an idiot. Frankly, you're an idiot. But there is there is an element of, like, men are being driven to this by perhaps the more toxic femininity, I suppose, of trying to compete with men, trying to say they're better than men, you know, not trying to have a good relationship. Try and keep your husband happy and understand that your husband is probably trying to do the same. And if you two can both do those things, you should have a happy relationship, realistically. It's like, that's, it's not hard, but for some reason, women, a lot of women these days, they want to be men, they want to, they want to get angry, they want to nag, they want to do all these things, and, and men don't like that shit, they just don't, I'm sorry, they don't, they're not attracted to nags, and annoying people, and like, women who don't take care of themselves, they're just not, and so this is going to lead to them hopping on what was Tate's webcams, but I, it is still wrong to be the drug dealer, I'm sorry, it is not just the drug user that's wrong, it's the drug dealer. It's very, and this is, this is, in this case, Tate is the drug dealer in terms of the analogy. I don't know that he's a literal drug dealer, not that I know of. Manners. It's unattractive. Are, yeah, they're unattractive. It's yeah. unattractive in like a thousand different ways. Yep. Now, I'm blown away, man, in Eastern Europe. These, these are good women. Yep. And, yeah. and this is why you'll see. On, and if you read the newspaper, every once in a while you'll see some random guy in America sends a quarter of a million dollars to some Romanian cam girl or something. Because <laughs> I'll send you the articles, bro. It's real. Because they like fall we had a great day fall, in the pan business they in, love, yeah. they fall in love with these chicks, yeah, and yeah. she's she's the only person in his whole life who's nice to him, yeah. and no one else ever is. Yeah. And he dies, he leaves all his money in his will to a cam girl instead of his wife. Yeah, and that's, that's just <laughs> that's how it is. Sweet revenge. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. my girl, she had a guy from Sweden once, and he paid her a thousand euro a day 
for about three months. Wow. And what he did was he was going through a divorce and yeah. he sent her pictures of his wife and she had to insult his wife and he recorded it all <laughs> and put it into a long compilation and gave it to her after the divorce. Yeah, that, was yeah. pretty, that was pretty gangster. Wow, but, that's, but, a, that's awesome. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'll kind of give it to this person at least. That's that's creative in a very weird way. I'll I'll give him that. That is a, I suppose, a creative use of a cam girl. But again, I mean, feeding into the betas and all this kind of stuff is is all just. It's weird. I mean, it's weird, isn't it? You don't you don't think that this like you could maybe be pushing men to do something more productive with their time than just taking advantage of them you don't think that maybe that would be a good idea i mean at least this guy from sweden had the fucking had something creative in mind he's like insult my ex please i mean i guess that's that's a service i mean a grand a day for it's only paying a fucking premium for that but i just thought that was stupid but let's carry on Awesome, but yeah, yeah it's, it's an interesting industry. But Cam yeah. girls making making what, Sweden great again. It's <laughs> fucking great. But yeah, it's it's just it's just a reaction to the, yeah. the sexual marketplace we live in. It's right. a whole bunch right. of a whole bunch of dudes who ain't got their shit. Together. I gotta say, I'm, I'm I'm particularly impressed that you're like this alpha bad boy. All these fucking cars and shit. The women, and then you run a great business. You're an entrepreneur. Absolutely, it's fucking it, wonderful. And and this is the thing about it. I I have always. I think the reason I'm successful is although I play this. Okay, I'm not gonna play it. Well, entrepreneurship's yeah. fucking tough. First of all, any entrepreneurship. I oh, come on with this. Come on with this stuff, right? Is entrepreneurship tough? I'm sure it is, but but what what is this? I mean, seriously, he's he's sat there talking about all this money he's made off of this cam girl stuff and how men would pour their like they'd leave like loads of money to women or something. He said something about like they'll die and leave you in their will and stuff like a cam girl leave a cam girl in their will you think that this is like is this is this this is good this is a good thing i'm supposed to applaud this somebody like yeah a man being so delusional that he left his inheritance to a cam girl i mean you have to like these are clearly deeply sad people and you're taking advantage of them and you justify by saying well they're beta it's their fault it's like well you know, it's your fault for giving the money away, but you also, again, the drug user is responsible for taking the drugs, but the drug dealer is also responsible for supplying that person with the drugs because it wouldn't be able to take the drugs if the drug dealer wasn't around. I'm just saying. Any business. So Any you, business you do well. It's awesome. Exactly. And also, people think because I worked with girls, it was all just a big sex fest. Da, da, da. Mm. I treat it like a business. Yeah. There's a whole, you know, fair enough. I'm with a bunch of them. I have some cool pictures. How many years has it been running to? Five years now. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, yeah, real solid. So, and in total, I've had 75 girls work for me. So, during that time, it means a whole bunch of girls I didn't sleep with. There's a whole bunch yeah. of girls that purely platonic, da da da. I'm sure you know, like a business. Most businesses are dead by five years. Yeah, I think like 80, 90 percent or something like that. By 10 years, 95 percent. So, absolutely. I mean, in, ask, at, at my peak, I made I made four hundred thousand dollars one month. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, I made a lot of money through this business, and I was I was a lot bigger than I am now. I've just got like a few of my top top girls left. Yeah. But, um, You're also getting older, life, so you have different priorities and shit. Exactly, you gotta do. Exactly. So yeah. I'm gonna look to have kids and stuff. So, but Fuck it's yeah. a it's a fantastic business. It really is. And I, I and I say this. I know this pisses off the trad cons, but I'll say to any dude out there, you want to start a campus? I'll tell you how. Yeah. Do it. Jimmy, right. all you need is one one. If you had one girl at home in your bedroom, made next to thousand dollars a week, still money. Yeah. What the fuck? Like you know, and and these dudes are gonna. It's kind of like an alcoholic. I, I say this all the time. If you if you own a liquor store, an alcoholic comes in and you refer you refuse to serve him. Is it going to stop him drinking? He's yeah. going to go buy it from somewhere else. I say that about ten. You know, women people criticize me similar to you. Yeah. I, I fuck these girls on Tinder and Instagram yeah. and shit. Not as many as you, but I try. And they say, you know, I'm enabling that. It's like I'm not enabling they're that. They're going to fuck someone. I'm, yeah, they're going to fuck somebody. And I'm like, when they bang me, I'm like the 29th dude that year they fuck her. So you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I, what am I going to? I didn't do anything about the other 28 dudes that fucked her. Exactly. So yeah. and yeah. it's exactly the same with the alcoholic thing. So you're not going to yeah. stop somebody being an alcoholic. Yeah. So if these dudes are going to go online and send their money away, yeah. which you're going to do, yeah. they may as well send it to me. Because yeah. who else are going to send it to someone else? Right. So the logic here is the. They need to send. They need to send me their money because they're gonna send it somewhere. So it might as well be to me. And they're gonna do it anyway. So I might as well provide it. Like, what? What the fuck kind of dumb shit is this? I'm sorry. Like, 
What what even is this as a logic? So you're again you're this is again you're supplying this person the drugs and saying, well, you know, they might as well they might they would have gone and got it somewhere else. So I might as well be the dealer. Like why why do people think it's okay to do immoral things for money? Like it is not it's not a good idea. You know, he says, you know, I'll show you how to make a webcam business. If you have a girl, I can teach you how to make a grand a week. Or by slapping your girl in front of a webcam and basically semi-scamming people out of money. This is not good business. This is not a good thing. And people need to stop acting like it is. Because it isn't. But this is the part of Tate that is an L, right? It's this kind of stuff. It's when you're sitting there talking about... People dropping their life savings, dropping a grand a day so that they can insult their ex, coming on here because they're lonely and desperate or whatever it is, and you take advantage to make some money, and then you say that, well, it's justified because they were going to do it anyways, and I made money from it. Well, that's like the logic that drug dealers use. That's like classic drug dealer logic right there as to why they're not bad. And it's the same as being used here for webcams. You can't, you can't on one hand complain about how degenerate the society is and then contribute to that degeneracy. It doesn't work that way. Like, I can't sit here and say, the Tories are terrible. They do an awful job. I wish they were never in power. And then turn around and vote for them in the next election. It makes no sense. Like, if you're contributing to the problem that you are berating, doesn't that make you a little bit hypocritical? I don't know. But I mean, that seems like what he's doing here, but yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's just how I view it. So yeah, yeah. It, I don't think I'm damaging the West. The West has problems, we've just discussed them. I'm yeah. exploiting them to make myself a millionaire. Yeah. Well, oh well. Yeah, you're not causing this to happen. I'm not They're causing it to it. happen. Yeah. It's happened already. Yeah. And if I stop, it's still gonna happen. Yep, So that's right. it is what it is. Yeah. Well, man, it's been great talking to you. Really Amazing. fucking awesome, man. Thank great meeting you. Thank you. I can't wait to hear your speech at the convention. We'll see there you have it. I mean, simply put, there you have it. It's okay to to push webcam stuff. It's okay to take advantage of lonely, desperate men, apparently, because A, they're baiters, B, you make loads of money off of it, and yeah, I mean, that seems to be about it, really. I mean, I think this is all terrible logic. Money is not the be-all and end-all of everything, okay? That is simple fact. Don't obsess over money. Because this is how you end up doing things like this. Taking advantage of people. And like I said, Tate has admitted to scamming people off of this. He's admitted to this before. Right. I mean, if you want to see, I think it's the podcast he did with the... I want to see it was the Nelka boys he did it with, where he admitted this stuff. So, you know, if you don't believe me, go watch it. Where he's admitted this. And he describes the scam in detail. So... I mean, if you think this is okay just because, oh, but I made money. Oh, but they were going to do it anyways. Oh, but, you know, I might as well do it and make some money. And then, you know, everybody's happy. Like, no, no one, everybody's happy. If you've got guys dropping their inheritance to a cam go and you think that that's okay and you're laughing about, oh, that's funny, ha, ha, ha. It's like, brother, that's all he worked for his whole life that he gave to a cam girl because he was being basically manipulated by some woman behind the screen into thinking that she gave two shits about him when she didn't care. Meanwhile, he says he was dig potentially dicking her down behind his back. Behind the person's back on the webcam. Like it, this is this is is foul. And I think that for the good that Tate does for the world, this kind of stuff needs to be dropped. He needs to drop this like defense of the webcam or like I'm not gonna denounce the webcam stuff. Because it it's good that he stopped, but is still, I think, a stain on, on his journey, personally. That's just me. But let me know what you think. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. But yeah, remember to like and subscribe, and see you.